This is a sneak peek at my new project Zeal. Um, I've been working on Zeal for about three weeks full time, uh, with a lot of hammock time in between, thinking about um, how to put this together. Now, the the motivation behind Zeal was that there was, there seems to be a large chasm between um, an app you like a program you can run on the command line and um, something that gives you rich output that you can use on your phone or on a website. It seems like every time you want some basic functionality um, and you want to access it on the web, uh, you need you need to you know buy a domain, um, get a server, uh, deploy everything, have a database. It's just a lot of work for for little things that I would just like to have at my fingertips. So here's how Zeal works. Um, this is the code editor. Uh, we can evaluate that. Um, that's valid Eden, so it just returns the number itself. Uh, we can we can put it into a vector. We can execute code as well. So we we have basically a closure rebel over here. Now let me show you some examples that I found useful. Uh, so I can search up here and search in preview snippets that I've made previously. Um, here's a weather snippet. And um, what this does is it goes to the dark sky API um, and then it gets the weather, the, the forecast for the next eight days, and then it feeds that into Vega Lite. So Vega Lite is a JavaScript library um, that lets you visualize things from um, JSON or JavaScript objects, um, providing a spec and the data. So that's what it does here. This is the data that is fed into Vega Lite, and then we have this with meta data renderer Vega Lite. So I can run this now. Um, it likely won't change much, but let me actually for our American viewers, um, change this to Fahrenheit. And um, you'll see that the, the scale, um, the labels over here will change. Here we go. Okay, so that's the weather in Fahrenheit um, for the next uh, eight days. Now, something that's important here is what's the location for the weather? And you'll see here that this says device location keys, latitude, longitude. How do we have that device location? Um, so one thing that, that Zeal ships with is some execution context. So you can get the snippet that's bound during the execution. We can evaluate that. And it tells me that um, here's the author ID. That's a temp ID right now. This is actually the UUID um, of the snippet itself. And here's some metadata, like the device location, um, whether the, de the device is mobile or not, um, the name of the snippet, which which we can change here. So we can say um, eval context, we can call it that. Um, now we can go down here, reevaluate that. Um, and now we see the name is eval context, right? And then this is actually the snippet text um, itself. Here we see uh, the snippet code and the time when um, of this execution. So that's one way where we can use um, APIs that run on the back end together with uh, data that we get from our browsers on the front end. Okay, let me show you something else. Um, I really like to use IMDB for my um, for, to search for movies. Now check this out. If I go to IMDB, um, just look at the load time. This is with a 100 Mbit connection. It just takes a lot of time. I'm sure it, it downloads you know 10 megabytes of uh, ads and trackers. And um, that's, just, that's just a lot. Um, I wish this was faster. So in Zeal, um, we, have, we have IMDb search. And that's just a snippet that I wrote. It's fairly short right here. Um, and what this does is it basically goes to IMDb's uh, suggestion API. It's like their fuzzy search endpoint. And, um, and then it returns something that it renders as hiccup. So it makes a few divs. It reformats the, um, the search results into an H1 and the image, and it gives it a height. Um, but what we, we can do here is from the search bar, we can go and um, we can search for, let's say, Honey Boy. I can run this, and uh, immediately it shows me the search results up here. Um, another thing we have in Zeal is a execution history. So I can click here. And uh, I can go through all the past executions of what we what I searched before. Um, I can click that. I can revert to it. Um, I can pretty much 
to do all of that. Now, lastly, we also have um, some clipboard functionality. So let's say, let's go back to the weather example. Um, let's say I actually want to run uh, the weather. I want to run the weather script, but then I want to have the result in my clipboard, which in this case will be a, um, it will be this, one second, it will be um, our weather graph right here. Um, so if I want that in my clipboard, I basically run it and then put it into the clipboard. I can press return here. And now um, what I get is the, the SVG of the graph um, in my clipboard. But this really works for anything. So if we say, um, I think I have a date, date snippet in here, maybe not. Um, but we can quickly make one. So if we say, I think, java.utils date, make a new date. Oh, guess not. Uh, ah. There we go. Okay, now we have a date in here. Um, just to make this simple, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. We can go up in here. We can name this date. Um, okay. And, uh, and now I can go in here and I can say um, run and then copy uh, date into my clipboard. Okay, I've just done that. And I'll paste this here. And here we go. Right, so this is pretty powerful. You can, you can have dynamic behavior, uh, little scripts that either show you the results over here or put them in your clipboard um, very quickly. Uh, now another element of Zeal is that um, I'm also working on an Electron app that you can trigger with a uh, shortcut. So um, I have that right here. Here we have the date snippet. Um, it's exactly the same thing. It's just smaller um, and uh, you, you option Z it into view. So this you can use you know, wherever you are on your computer um, very quickly. And um, another thing is that I wanted to use Zeal on my phone. Basically, I'm doing a lot of you know, I, I have a few of the search um, of the search snippets, like the movie search and so forth. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to use that um, on my phone. So if we go into the um, mobile preview, then you see that the code editor, editor disappears, um, but we still have we still have the, the film search available, um, and we can we can use that uh, on mobile. So yeah, that's a little sneak peek. Um, I would say Zeal is not, not ready yet for, for use, but um, I'm working on making it easier to, um, to install it on individual machines. Um, it's an open source project. You can find it on github.com slash dn1k slash zeal. Um, so here's where I've been working on it. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Thank you.